you want to be part of what we're doing here at WBONTV.com and advertise with us, email us at information at WBONTV.com or send us a message on Facebook or Twitter. Our video stories now have over a million organic views and over a million people reached organically. Get watched, get noticed, get Richmond's very own. WBONTV.com. From the studios of WBONTV.com, I'm Marissa Hempel and this is your Wednesday afternoon news brief. A man accused of killing another man with a hammer and then living with a body in his home has been sentenced for the crime. According to police, Jeremiah Vaught killed Josh Ross with a hammer in Powell County. He was arrested in October and originally charged with murder, evidence tampering, and abuse of a corpse. However, the murder charges have been downgraded to manslaughter and he's sentenced to serve 10 years. Oil has been spilled on the roadway in Rockcastle County, resulting in northbound lanes of I-75 being blocked at the moment. The crash occurred past exit 62 and traffic is being detoured off the 62 exit due to the semi blocking the roadway. A local race has garnered quite a bit of national attention since the election results came in last night. It seems it was not necessarily a lucky year for incumbents, as a few were unseated, including House Majority Floor Leader Jonathan Schell. He was defeated by Rockcastle math teacher R. Travis Brenda by a narrow margin. The seat for representative for Kentucky House District 71 seems to have been bolstered by the recent outpouring of teacher support following the pension crisis in Kentucky. A Richmond couple have been indicted on felony assault charges recently after they allegedly lured a man into their apartment where he was then shot. Rhonda Jones and James Snowden have remained in jail since their arrest earlier this month for the incident which occurred in March. According to court documents, Snowden had found that Jones allowed the man into their home while he was away. Then the two got together and allegedly conspired to get the man to come back to the house to confront him about the relationship. The citation states that Snowden then shot the man when he arrived and he also allegedly assaulted him and hit him in the head, which resulted in him having to go to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Another incumbent lost his position in the Madison County elections after ballots were tallied last night. Madison County Attorney Judd Patterson came up short against challenger Jenny Haymond in the Republican primary. Heyman said everyone else ran a great race, but she's already gearing up for November. In the Democratic primary for county attorney, attorney Robert Jennings came out on top against Tyler Frazier. Jennings also spoke with WBON TV today and thanked all his supporters and said he was excited to get ready for November as well. A Richmond man was recently indicted on attempted murder charges after he allegedly choked a woman and hit her while she was holding a baby. 38-year-old Stephen McKinley Crabtree is accused of the assault, where he allegedly choked the woman to the point of her losing consciousness. He's also facing charges of second-degree assault, and if the case goes to trial, the attempted murder charge could also be dropped. For more stories such as these, be sure to visit Richmond's very own WBONTV.com. I'm Marissa Hempel.